Hey, Vinyl Community, Jeff back again for another A to Z of Christian Rock. Um, yeah, we're in the eyes now, and uh, not a whole lot of eyes on vinyl, but I'm going to keep this one shorter by just covering the ones we got rather than combining with another one. So, because there was a little explanation on, on some of these, so maybe it'll go longer. Anyway, yeah, so again, if you're new to this series, basically we're looking through... Uh, my vinyl collection, not digging into CDs, but looking at the vinyl collection of things that I have that would fall into the realm of Christian rock, hard rock, metal, the heavier side of things, again, excluding the lighter rock, popular rock, uh, gospel, all that stuff. I do have some of that, but basically looking at the heavier side of things, um, just keeping it heavy. So there you go. Let's get right into this. Um, First one up is Idol Cure. Now, Idol Cure, you'll say, wait a minute, that's kind of a poppy band, and it sort of is. This is one of those on-the-line bands that, uh, you know, I end up putting them into the heavier category. So when this album first came out, the Breakaway was the, the hit single from this, and Breakaway is, is a hard rocking song. And then we buy the album because it sounds great, it's a hard rocking song, and you get the album home and you find out pretty much the entire rest of the album is AOR, keyboard friendly pop and so it was kind of a letdown it's kind of like that was kind of cheating um but then they continued on there once after that they they got progressively a little edgier so we're thinking um you know radio friendly hard rock keyboard oriented type stuff so they did progress into the heavier stuff and there's currently three this one was recently uh reissue uh by was it girder i believe um, yeah, Gerda put this out just a couple years ago. One of their later albums. They had like five or six albums out. And uh, uh, there's a couple that I'm missing in here. Most most of the early ones, I think, were on vinyl in the early days. So uh, anyway, we got those three there. All right, this is a fairly modern band, uh, Angel Board Images of Eden. I believe this is their, I want to say, second album. Um, and I forget exactly where they're from. It's on red. Uh, but anyway, yeah, they're a U.S. band. Kind of a U.S. power metal type band. Cool stuff. This came out just in the in the recent couple past couple years. So uh, again, a new modern band with a classic sound. So, all right, and then this is the one. This is one of the ones that is is up for discussion. I was I'd mentioned in previous videos about how some bands are. Do you or do you not put them into the realm of Christian rock or metal? Um, and, and, you know, not many Christian bands even really want to necessarily be in that realm because they're looking to reach a regular audience. So, But there are bands out there that have Christians in the band, but maybe they're not labeled as or marketed as in the realm of Christian music. Um, you can look at bands strictly on lyrical content. Uh, you can look at the band's lifestyle. There's a lot of things you can judge a band by. Um, this is one of those bands that is, is one of the gray areas that really is tough to do, and that's Impelitary. So Impelitary, Chris Impelitary, um, he has spoken out of, uh, about his faith, but the band itself was never marketed as, you know, in the realm of Christian music. And so... You know, the first album uh, came out, had Rob Rock on it, and then he kind of did the second album. Uh, and I don't have, I didn't pull those because those are going to be, you know, had Graham Bonnet, and they, they were they were just straightforward albums. But then when you, you know, you bring back in Rob Rock into this, like, era here, and Rob Rock is now openly writing lyrics that are from a biblical, spiritual standpoint, then it gives the it gives the, the band a whole new flair. So, answer to the master. There's a lot of Christian religious imagery in here. You could, if you didn't know any better, you present this to somebody, they could listen to it and say, well, yeah, I I, I would see that as a Christian band. So, based on, lyrically alone, not judging all the guys in the band or anything, Rob Rock, the singer, lyric writer. Um, is a, a Christian and he writes from that angle. So, and he, and you know, I've talked to him and he's made the comment, some bands who want to hire him to do vocals on their album, he's told them, I write what I write and I should be allowed to write what I write and it's going to have a Christian bent on it. You know, they're not preachy, but, you know, they're not like, you know, Jesus, 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 but they are very, you know, you know, they're very spiritually based. And so he's done quite a few albums with them. He's probably the most 
um, consistent singer with them, though they have quite a few albums where he has not been available and has not done it. So all of these ones where Rob Rock is on them, I would put them into the category of, you know, Christian friendly, if not blatantly Christian. Uh, but then, you know, when they swap out singers like this, there's nothing really about this. It's an impelitary regular album. It's a different singer. And, you know, there's not as much of it. So you, you're going to be hit and miss with this. So you can't classify them as straight up Christian. But then you bring Rob Rock back in and you're going to have a lot of that imagery. So, again, there's bands like that, um, Nature of the Beast. So this is the last one with him. And uh, I believe they're, didn't I hear they were working on a new album? So anyway, um, yeah. So bands like this, you're going to, you know, it's going to de be dependent on who the singer is. And then you got bands like this, Engraved, or Victor Griffin's Engraved. So Victor Griffin, longtime guitar player from the mainstream band Pentagram, and then later he did solo stuff. Uh, well, not solo, but Place of Skulls, which uh, a doom metal band that had some religious flair. But, you know, he's openly spoken of his Christian faith, and there's a lot of that. He's done flat-out praise-type songs with Place of Skulls. Um, and then he did this, which, I, you know, I don't know where this would fit in, engraved. It, it's got some of the same flair, but, you know, um, and it's got some of the same lyrical thing, but it's not straight up Place of Skulls type stuff. So for me, I categor categorize it as the, as being in the Christian realm because he is one and, you know, tends to write from that angle. So, but again, that could be a great area. And then the last one in the eyes, Inner Siege. And this is their second album, Jur uh, Fury of Ages, and they are an Illinois band, power metal, U.S. power metal, melodic power metal uh, band. Um, yeah, and that, you know, and they are in the Christian realm there too. First album was not on CD. I mean, it was only on CD, not on vinyl. And then the second album has been, and so that is the one that we've got here. And uh, I have the the other one. So, yeah, if I were to delve into CDs, there's a ton of eyes, a lot of bands with I that are in the CD realm but not as many of them on the vinyl realm. So there you go. That is the eyes. And we'll move on to the next one. Next time I think I'm going to try to keep them uh, just to one letter rather than double them up and just keep the video shorter if need be. So that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something new. Check out some of these bands. Great stuff. Rock on and rock hard.